are in January now and this year, Lunar New Year, is January 22nd. Growing up, all we really did to celebrate Lunar New Year was receive red pockets from my parents, the Ung Pao. <laughs> this guy. When we were kids, every year we'd get these and they'd be full of money. Not a lot of money, but money. And it was exciting. And then we'd eat something special. Another thing that we would do is watch these Lunar New Year music videos growing up. We started watching them probably when we were in high school. The videos would pretty much be these little kids in like semi-traditional Chinese outfits. Like the girls would be in Cheongsam and they were just kind of like wandering around through these temples and singing songs and we thought it was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Whenever it was leading up to Lunar New Year, we would just get pumped for it and we'd play these songs. <laughs> and they're so good! They're so catchy! <laughs> so then one year, my sister was going to study abroad, so we sent her off with a goodbye party. That was a combination of goodbye party and Lunar New Year party. We created a playlist had like dragon dances, lion dances, the little girls singing and running around, all those music videos, some kung fu, some clips from wuxia films that we loved and we just played it in the background like the whole time and then at the end of the night we did karaoke and it was like I still think back on that party as like the best party that I ever threw or had anything to do with even Maybe on par with my wedding. Maybe. It was so fun. We don't go to that extent anymore. Lunar New Year is a lot about prosperity and auspiciousness. Auspiciousness. Kind of wishing people well. Kind of wishing good fortune on everyone. Kind of like bringing in this like fresh new season. Saying we hope that you guys all make a lot of money. And we also hope that we make a lot of money this year and we hope that we can spread the wealth around to each other and bless each other with it. That's kind of how I enjoy it, how I understand it. And I love that. <laughs> We're gonna do a little bit of Lunar New Year preparation. <laughs> Decorate the house by putting up auspicious symbols and characters all around, usually in the color red. My husband and I recently got to go to Singapore and we went to Chinatown and got these beautiful cushion covers there. I was excited to decorate this year because we got a bunch of decorations like these lanterns from a stall in a neighborhood called Glodok in Jakarta, which is nearby where my mom grew up. I was walking through H Mart and I saw these, which are those peel and stick wallpaper, I guess you could call it, but they're kind of meant to pretend to be tile backsplash and they are like Beatrix Potter inspired. And I saw them and I was like, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. This year is Year of the Rabbit. These were $7.99 each, so I don't know how good quality they are, but I figured whatever, it's $8, I wanna try it. And it's so cute. We're gonna try it right here. is 70 centimeters by 42.2 centimeters. I haven't measured the section, but I looked at the picture on the package and the picture looks like it should go across this whole thing. I hope that that's true. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Enough. So I think because the 
coffee pot covers a majority of that corner. I think that it makes sense to start from this side and just go right under the cabinets and work my way that way. And when I run out, I run out. It did not come with one of those scraper tools, but I have this KitchenAid dough thing that I think will work. So I'm going to use this floral knife. Um, I think it's sharp enough. I mean, we'll see. No, no, not sharp enough. I found this box cutter. Let's see. is to have as much lucky color red in your house as possible. And luckily, my good friend Emma got me a bunch of red candles for Christmas. My older sister Faith had a layover in Japan on her way to Jakarta, and she saw this little zodiac set of animals, and she and my mom decided to buy it for me so that I get out the figurines just like Toru Honda in Fruits Basket. day yesterday I asked all my followers on Instagram if I should do rabbit embroidery for Lunar New Year because my Instagram is mostly my embroidery and it a hundred percent said yes which was only like 10 people but I have this cardigan my dad did an online auction and there was a wardrobe and it was full it was a vintage wardrobe full of vintage clothes which is crazy. Dad uh, bid on it and he won. This was one of the things in the wardrobe. It is unfortunately irreversibly stained. I say irreversibly because I tried to wash it and it didn't come out. And that's the best I can do. So there's like these kind of yellowing stains. I think it's the perfect item for me to do some little bunny embroideries on. Let me just get into my little nest here. Wow. Before I embroider new things, I like to get on Pinterest and I have a embroidery inspiration board that I like to look through and it's just artists who are doing amazing things with embroidery that really inspire me. And just glean from before I start something to see what kind of styles or what kind of motifs and designs that I want to have in my own art. So there's the stain we're gonna cover up.
after a couple days, the cardigan has been finished. We got a little brown bunny and then we got some flowers. And every single place that an embroidery is on here, there was a stain that is now covered up. That's why the placement is very odd. This little red guy, sleeve flowers. We got these two guys chilling together. And some button flowers. The last guy is on the pocket. And this year is the year of the water rabbit. From my memory, there's fire, water, metal, and wood. Maybe it's earth and not fire. I'm thinking of Avatar. Now Avatar is in my head. I'm like, water. Water. Uh, I look like Bilbo Baggins when he's like chilling with the elves and he's writing his book. Ah! I like can't even see right now because it's so bright. <laughs> I debuted my new cardigan at a Lunar New Year concert we went to that night. In Baltimore, there was a Lunar Night Festival for everyone, which is really cool. At the Lunar Night Fest, there was a big tent that was full of artists and different activities, and in it, I got taught how to make a paper rabbit. <laughs> So cool. I mentioned before that every year my parents would give us ung pao or red pockets full of money and my mom always said that once we got our own careers we would have to give her ung pao instead and this year she told my sister that since she finished school she would have to do the same thing I didn't make it to the bank for fresh bills, so I just ironed this one instead. So on Lunar New Year Day, we make a lot of food and we have a lot of people over to celebrate. So my mom prepped a bunch of meat dishes and I prepped all the wontons by wrapping them up like little pieces of money. sure to cook mine first so I wouldn't have any gluten in it. That's your pour the ketchup money in. She doesn't know what you're talking about. What am I pouring? That, that bottle, yeah. Where am I pouring it? In yeah. here? Into the, yeah. Tell me when. Everything. Just pour the whole, yeah, a lot. <laughs> Squeeze it. Squeeze! <laughs> running in and she serves them on a silver tray and she brings a cookie tin this is so much food how many people are even coming like 20. 20. once everyone arrived i was so busy cooking and then i was so busy eating i totally forgot to take a video so just imagine the no face feast in spirited away and that's what the food was like <laughs> Esther thought there'd be way too much food, but there was barely enough for us to have leftovers. It was a beautiful celebration and it was a lot of fun, but I didn't get any footage of it, so I'll just leave you with this. Thanks so much for watching! My family is looking forward to celebrating the remainder of the Lunar New Year period and we wish you a very happy new year.